Excellence Academy. Let's look at a very important um, topic or problem on the concept of isotopes. All right. The question says, determine the atomic makeup of the following isotopes. So you have chlorine 35 and chlorine 37. You have copper 63 and copper 65. You have chlorine ion 35 and magnesium ion 24. Now, here's what to note. They said you should determine the atomic makeup. Now, when we say atomic makeup, what do we mean? Now, an atom is made up of basically three particles, which are the electrons, the protons, and the neutrons. So, if they say identify the atomic makeup, it means identify the number of electrons, number of protons, and of course, number of neutrons in an atom of the element or ion or the kind of species um, so given in the question there. So for this, my first task is to create a table. So I'll create a table there. Uh, my table, something like this. So first of all, get out the serial number. So first task, number two, get out the isotopes. Get out the isotopes. Yeah. After isotopes, um, so let's start with number of protons. Number of protons. From number of protons, let's look at number of um, neutrons. After number of neutrons, let's now look at the number of electrons. So observe that um, an atom is made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. So let's get this done. So let's fill up this table to get the atomic makeup. Now, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. If I have an atom X having atomic number Z and mass number A, the nuclide symbol, this is called a nuclide symbol. A nuclide symbol simply is symbol of an element showing the atomic number and its mass number. So, in a nuclear symbol like this, we said A is equal to the, it's called the um, mass number, you don't call it mass number, or you call it atomic mass. Y Z is equal to the atomic number. All right. So A is called the mass number or the atomic mass. Z is called the atomic number. Now note this. Note that Z, which is atomic number, is equal to number of protons. So number of protons in the atomic number, Y A is equal, equal to number of protons plus neutrons. Right, so here's one thing to note that um, the mass number is equal to protons plus neutrons combined. YZ is called the atomic number, which is number of protons. So easily, easily, we said number of protons is Z, and that's what is found here. 
So we we'll we'll want to find here is equal to the number of protons. That's all. If I come here, I can see 17 here. Yeah? Number of protons is 17. I can see 17 here. Yeah? Number of protons is 17. I can see 29 here. Yeah? Number of protons 29. 29 here. Yeah? Number of protons 29. 17 here. Yeah? Number of protons 17. 12 here. Yeah? Number of protons is 12. Because that's the atomic number. So it's that simple. Alright, so next up. Alright, so next up we said um, here the mass number is equal to number of protons plus neutrons. So we are saying that mass number A is equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons. So I can get neutrons by moving this over here. That means the mass number A minus, here is plus, comes and becomes minus minus p is equal to m. So this means that number of neutrons is equal to mass number minus number of protons. Okay? So that means my neutrons, my number of neutrons becomes mass number minus this. So a minus z or a minus p. Alright, my mass number here is 35. So my neutrons, number of neutrons becomes mass number minus protons for this becomes 75 minus 17 and that will give you about 18 so it becomes 37 minus 17 that gives you uh, 20 so perhaps let me write this down so this will give you 18 was from okay, let me write this down so perhaps this will give you 35 minus 17 that's equal to 18 in value this one was 37 minus 17 and that's equal to 20 this one gives you 63 minus 29 that will give you about 30, 34 34, this will give you 65 minus 29, and this will give something 36. Okay, this will give 35 minus 17, and that's about 18. This will give 12, this will give 24 minus this here 12 and that's equal to 12 so i have all of these as number of neutrons so it's 18 20 34 36 18 and 12. let's get number of electrons now here's the first thing to note for a neutral atom number of protons equal to number of electrons once a neutral atom a neutral atom is simply an atom that contains no charge, alright? If there is no plus or no minus attached to that atom, it's called a neutral atom. If I look at this, 1, 2, 3, 4 are all neutral atoms because there is no charge attached to them. So if they are neutral atom, what does it mean? It means that number of protons equal to number of electrons. If I have 17 protons here, I'll have 17 electrons. If I have 17 protons here, I'll have 17 electrons. If I have 29 here, this becomes 29. I have 29 here, this becomes 29. So, for neutral atoms, number of protons equal to number of electrons. That's the first note. The second thing to note is this. When atoms gain electrons, they become negatively charged, all right? When atoms gain electron, they become negatively charged. Also, when atoms lose electrons, they become positively charged. As in this case here, I'm having chlorine, Cl minus. This is 17, this is 35. Now, first of all, let's assume there was no charge. 
if your load charge here, number of proton is equal to number of electrons, since it's neutral, for a neutral atom, number of protons equal to number of electrons, and that would be 17. So for this case, I will have my number of electrons as 17. But in this particular question, it contains a negative. And we said when an atom is negatively charged, it means it has gained electron. So that means this atom here has gained electron. Question, how many electrons here? Of course, if I write minus, minus means one, all right, just one. So you, you just write one minus or minus one, just write minus. So this means just one. So, so if I have minus, it means it has gained electron. How many electrons did it gain? It gained just one electron. So you add plus one. 17 plus one gives you 18. So this is the gain electron that made this minus from having 18 electrons here as the number of electrons. Finally, let's get this. For magnesium, uh, Mg2 plus 24. First of all, let's ignore the charge here. Yeah? This becomes a neutral atom having no charge. That means the atomic number or number of protons is equal to number of electrons which is equal to 12 in this case. Now when I say a 2 plus, when you say plus, what does it mean? Okay, so for this, before that, for this, that means for this atom here, the number of electrons is equal to 12. But I'm giving a 2 plus there. We said plus, when an atom is positively charged, it means it has lost electron. That means this atom has lost electron. That's why it's positive. Now, the number attached to the positive there is 2. It means it has lost two electrons. So from my 12 here, I will take away two because it has lost two electrons. So 12 minus two gives you 10. So I'm having 10 electrons as the number of electrons. All right, so this is how you get the atomic makeup of isotopes. See you in the next class.